co-main event of the evening in the light heavyweight division, Jared Warren versus Jay Jackson. You can see here, Jay Jackson has a three at disadvantage. He's going to have to try and get into the pocket. It's going to be up to Warren to try and pepper that jab and land that long two to win the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the co-main event. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Presented to you by Lions Not Sheep Apparel. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears yellow and blue. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. His official weight, 184.7 pounds. His bare knuckle record stands at two victories opposite a single defeat. Fighting out of Auburn, Michigan. Here is Jay Action Jackson. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black and gray. He stands six feet, one inch tall. His official weight, 185.6 pounds. His veteran's bare knuckle record stands at four victories opposite two defeats. Fighting out of Tampa, Florida. Here is Jared Captain Deadpool. Whoa. And our referee in charge of the action, Big Dan Mergliata. <laughs> Round number one. Black trunks for Jared Warren, yellow trunks for Jay Jackson. Jackson told us, I have to continually keep moving to the left. I cannot allow Warren to force me to the right into his power from the southpaw stance. Moving to the left is Jay Jackson on the entry on the exit. Big miss on the overhand right, then Warren on the counter left hook. That's just some of that nervous energy right there. Wanting to throw a big punch right away. Both guys know it's all about staying on the outside, that lead left. Or what foot, whichever one, the, the lead foot right there. You gotta stay on the outside of it. Warren with the head movement, looking to enter. Gets in Warren, told us that he wants to be in the mid range. He said, I can fight from the outside, but Jackson's comfortable on the outside. I do not believe he will be comfortable in the mid range. Stiff jab from Warren. Didn't fully land, but it backed off Jackson. There's a big left hand. Started that exchange well. Jackson finished that exchange well. Jackson circling out with 45 seconds remaining round number one of our co-main. Jackson's really got to work on stepping outside that lead foot and throwing the straight right down the pipe. Jab just off the mark. One on the feint. Gets under the miss. Another big swing and a miss with the overhead right. Carrot, short, sharp left hook from Warren. And Jackson just ducking the hand throw that way. Warren decides to turn that uppercut and it is going to be a very good punch for him. Warren just misses with the two. Overhand right misses again for Jackson. We move to round two. Jay Jackson looks very off balance right now. He's having trouble finding one. Yeah, you got this, man. Come on, you can't walk into this. And that's a lot of that because the one of Jerry Warren is we'll really we'll putting him we'll out, we'll out of the way. Yeah, you can't right walk now. into this, brother, okay? You walk into his hand. Don't walk into that. All right? You gotta watch that hand. You're tying yourself out. He's ducking into your right hand, okay? Let him throw the left. He's ducking to the right. Throw the uppercut. Pull him up for the up. Don't lean. Don't lean your body into him, all right? Throw the uppercut, fuck up with him. You got this. He's shooting for the cut over there, so do not give me a head anymore. That's what I'm saying. Don't give him that head. Okay? Ben Rothwell with his ring side. You saw Mike Perry, you saw Julian Lane. When you're headed to the right, y'all don't belong to the room from the UFC. Some very good advice being given right there by Jay Jackson's corner right there. He's ducking too much, he's leaning, he's off balance, and a lot of that is because of Warren's here. Round number two. 
Another overhand miss from Jackson. That time with the lead left hand. Jab from Jay Jackson from the ortho stance. Jackson throwing the naked two. Didn't fully land. Again, big miss from Jackson. These are uncharacteristic off balance misses from Jay Jackson on the overhands. He just looks like he's nervous a little bit, John. He's trying to throw punches from odd angles and just line them up, telegraphing things. Continues to throw punches and his back to head. As soon as Jerry Wells throws those up again, it's going to be nasty. Jackson again on his bike with 60 seconds remaining round number two. Left cross to the body for Moore. That was a clever punch. Moore off the jab, just misses with the left hand. Warren told us Jackson has power, but it's one punch at a time. And largely to this point in the fight, Chris, we're seeing one punch at a time from Jay Jackson. And not that, these, the one punch, but the wild punches are easily to see. They're telegraphed. They're not even really coming close. There's a big left hand for Moore, and that turned the head of Jay Jackson. Overhand right, blocked effectively by Warren. The reset from Jackson. This is the jab. He's not getting up. The count of 10 reached, and the win for Jared Warren with authority. That's a quality win. Right, there. that was the best we've seen. Jared Warren look right there. Total control the entire time. Confidence just swelling right there. Control the entire pace. Win where the fight happened. Great job right there by Jared Warren. The first punch that Jay Jackson in the eye, definitely by that punch right there, you can see, look at Jay. And then that uppercut right there finished him off. You could just tell Jared was still hurt, uh, I should say. Jay Jackson was still hurt. That punch wasn't that significant, but he was still hurt from the first time he got knocked down. Mergliata giving Jackson the benefit of the doubt because that was the end of the round. But Jackson could not beat the 10 count. Had he beaten the 10 count and Bergliana felt that Jackson could safely continue, he then would have given, been given the full 60 seconds to recover. Warren, though, recorded the knockdown and then turned up the pressure to get the second knockdown, which then flowed into the straight knockout. That is a massive slice on the forehead of Jay Jackson. Two extremely nice, extremely likable people. No animosity coming into this fight. All respect, and there you see the respect. I mean, but you're right. Look at that cut on his head. Man, that's a nasty shot. I'm telling you, when Jared Warren hits you, it hurts. We go to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge, Big Dan Mergliata, reaches the count of 10 at the conclusion of round number two. For your winner, by KO, Jared, Captain Denpool, Warren! And Sean, what we talked about, whoever wins this fight needs to get a push to the title.